Okay, with this video we're going to show you a visual representation of a low viscosity polysynthetic oil and a high or a higher viscosity part synthetic oil just like these two. Now the fully synthetic is a 5W30 fully synthetic so 5 is its winter performance down to minus 25 degrees and 30 means that at 100 degrees this will flow like a 30 weight oil. C3 is a European stand markings so you can go and check out what this oil is designed for. This has an A3B4 European rating so again you can go and check out which engines this is for which is basically most engines. Good for about minus 20 degrees and will flow like a 40 weight oil at standard operating temperature or 100 degrees. If you are wondering what the differences are between a fully synthetic oil and a part synthetic oil then very briefly this one is a highly refined mineral oil mixed with synthetic additives to give a decent all round performing oil. The fully synthetic oil has been chemically engineered from the ground up it's been heavily refined to remove any impurities that may be found in the oil and so it gives you a lower viscosity oil flows around the engine quicker, costs more, but it is a better oil. Now, the, the differences in viscosity, I'll try and demonstrate to you with this cup. Okay, so this crack here is going to represent a worn out seal or some part of the engine that's leaking. Okay, and we'll see, we'll take a low viscosity liquid, water, and we'll see it flow out of that crack faster than a high viscosity liquid, a drinks cordial. Still flows like water, but obviously different properties. So let's take a look. Okay, we're going to add the low viscosity, just like our fully synthetic oil, liquid, to our engine and let's see what happens. Almost immediately we start getting start getting minor leaks happening and it's flowing quite quickly. So it's not very fast, but the leak is definitely there. As you can see, there it goes. So it will appear that the low viscosity liquid is causing the leak to be worse, but it's not. The leak is still exactly the same, but the liquid is able to flow through any holes a lot easier. Okay, we saw with the low viscosity, with the water, it started leaking pretty quickly. Um, I've just emptied the water out, nothing else has changed, same cup. Um, so let's move on from the fully synthetic and let's have a look at a low viscosity, uh, sorry, a higher viscosity, lower flow rate oil and see how that gets on. to the top and we can see it does start to leak but it's a fair bit slower And it only seems to leak from the bottom here. There's nowhere else. The other one was leaking from the top, the middle, and the bottom. Now it just appears it's just at the bottom where we're getting a leak. 
low higher viscosity did leak but nowhere near as much as the fully synthetic so this was just a really cheeky example of you know trying to show you the differences in viscosity between two liquids a thought did just occur to me and that is why don't I use the oils in the cup and see what happens um, and I guess it's going to make a huge mess and the missus is probably not going to be very happy but let's try it out okay so I've got a timer so you can see I'm not cheating and we'll try out the fully synthetic first Okay, just had to open the top of this. It's open now. If I drop this, I'm dead. But let's try and be careful. There's just a little seepage from here and here. Don't know if you can see that. Minute 50, within two minutes it's starting to seep out. So it's not, it's not flowing like the water, but it is actually coming out. It came out a lot faster than I thought it would. And there's the little droplet that's forming now. So, what's that, 3 minutes 40? And we are, we are leaking down to about here. No, I thought I'd leave I'd leave the fully synthetic in just till 10 minutes and there's 10 minutes and it's just about to run off the side of the cup and that was after 10 minutes let's check out the uh, part synthetic Okay, cup's been cleaned, same cup, let's try the standard oil. All the way to the top, 
Start the timer. Okay, we're coming up to two minutes. It is starting, but it's not as bad. Let's see where we're at at 10 minutes. Okay, so it's coming up to 10 minutes and our part synthetic or standard oil is just there at 10 minutes 6 so it definitely flows a lot slower than the fully synthetic again take from this what you will it was just a bit of fun just to show you the differences and I'm going to have to pour this back into there now So there you go, uh, just like I said before, it's just a bit of fun. It did appear that this one flows out faster. I know I would move the cup a touch, but I don't think it affects the results too badly. The And I did have to clean the cup, which may have opened up that break a little bit when I put this one in, before I put this one in. So it's, you know, tit for tat. I think we all know that this one does flow quicker or easier than this one. But they're both perfectly good oils. If you've got a young engine, you know, not to five years or maybe to ten years, then there's nothing wrong with this unless you know of a leak when you might want to avoid it. And just use this, which is perfectly good standard oil, nothing wrong with it. This is about 25% more expensive, so it's really up to you. Keep your oil servicing up to date and you should be fine with either. And just in case you people were wondering if she was upset that I'd used her jug to pour oil into, then the answer is yes. Yes, she was. But, you know, these are the lengths I go to for science. Again, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.